Hi, my name is Desiree, and I'll be teaching you today. Hi, my name is Perry. This is a curry comb, and its purpose is to get off surface dirt, and you do that by brushing in circles. This is a hard brush, and its purpose is to get off the dirt that you remove with the curry comb, and you brush in short, hard strips. This is a soft brush and it's used to smooth and shine the horse's hair after removing all of the dirt. This is a hoof pick and it's used to get out all of the dirt and stones out of the horse's feet. When you pick the hoof, you want to avoid picking the triangle in the foot, which is called the frog. So you pick out everything around it. Important parts of the horse for a beginner rider to know include the pole, crest, shoulder, knee, cannon bone, fetlock, withers, loins, dock, stifle, hock, and hoof. up is putting on the saddle. We want to be careful when putting on the saddle not to hurt the horse's back so we do it very lightly and then just readjust the saddle pad and pull it up. Next comes the girth. The girth goes on to the saddle's billet. First you want to slide it through this strap to keep the saddle in place and we attach it to the first and the last billet in the saddle. Then you reach underneath of the horse on the other side to grab it and attach it to the first and last billets on the other side of the saddle. Desiree, I have a question. Why don't we use the middle one? The middle one is just in case the other two billets break. Otherwise, it doesn't really serve any purpose. The last step in tacking up is putting on the bridle. First thing we do is put the reins over the horse's head and then detach the cross tie. Then we come and remove the halter and I like to pull up all of the other pieces and to get them out of the way of the bit. We place our palm on the bit and offer it in the horse's mouth. Then the brow band goes over her ears. band and under the cheek pieces and attach it. Then we put on the throat latch which goes up here. In order to lead the horse, first you need to take the reins over the horse's head. Then we stand next to the horse, always on the left side folding over the reins so they don't get twisted in our hands, and I place my right hand by the horse's mouth. To get on the horse, first you have to put the reins over the horse's head. Then, we put the stirrups down, walk up the mounting block, you grab a hold of your reins with your left hand, place your left foot in this stirrup, and swing your other leg over it. Good. Before lunging, it's important to take your reins away. In order 
much to do that. You have to detach the reins. Bring them under the pony's neck. Give them a few twists. Hook it through the throat latch. Bring them back up over the neck and attach them again. Now you're going to go around at the walk with your hands on your hips, stretching your leg down. Now proceed into two-point position, coming up out of the saddle and grabbing your horse's mane. Good. Now to stretch, take your inside hand and place it on your inside toe. Now go back up and do the same thing with your outside hand to your outside toe. And trot. And walk. And halt. Trot. Halt. And walk. And canter. And sitting trot. And halt. Ha, ha, ha.